Hope you guys enjoyed game two. That was a wild one. But this is going to be game three between Crane and Dreamer. This is another commentary done by Diggity. Wow, mixing it up with my intro for once. Upper right-hand corner, Crane as the red Protoss. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Dreamer as the green Protoss. This is going to be on Eclipse. A 2v2... Or, sorry, a one-player map. Not sure why I said 2v2 there. If you want to see some good 2v2 action, by the way, Moltrap did a live stream of some of those old-school 2v2s back in the day. And secretly, this is the problem back and forth. I feel like Brood War is a little bit more of a slower-paced... It's a boomer game. Or old zoomer. I don't know. It's a slower paced game. It doesn't have like the huge dopamine hits. It doesn't have like the really quick early game stuff going on. It's like more of a slow paced thing. And it's kind of like more of a steady stream on the brain, right? Unless you're watching it at times two. Maybe then it speeds it up. Anyway, comparatively, 2v2s secretly lots of dopamine hit. I mean, there's just an immense amount of action. And it's true, I had forgotten about that in Pro League. How you'd have the, the old Pro League format used to be like 1 1v1, 1 1v1, and then a 2v2. And the 2v2s oftentimes were just like a nice, refreshing, like, overdose of tons of action on screen. Anyway, go ahead and check those out. Looks like we are seeing a gateway opener, so no cheese for both players. This is one of those maps that I've seen a couple players attempt cheese on throughout this series. By the way, if you're looking for the tally, both players have one game apiece. Crane moving out. Actually kind of taking a little bit of a wide angle just to make sure he didn't see anything in his main. Let's see if he actually go. And he's actually, yeah, opting to go kind of a wide path as well. And I'm wondering if he's going this wide path again to check for cheese or if he's going this wide path to execute cheese himself. We will see. I think he's just doing it to kind of do some avoidance and throw his opponent off and be like, oh, yep, there's a late scout coming in. So maybe I'm going two gate. Dreamer is in fact opting for a two gate. Because it is a 1v1 map. I have not seen this pay off. I think I've seen this pay off once. And I don't know that this is going to pay off against Crane in a semi-final for Hasu League. Because I almost feel like when you're going 2-gate, it comes down to your opponent screwing up, comparatively. Crane going in, seeing the 2-gate thus far, getting that scout off. He's opted for an Assimilator. He does have his Cybernetics Core about halfway finished. He's got three probes in gas already for cell being produced. I think previously it was like the 10, 12 gate. Now it's like 11, 10. Anyway, I'll have to look at what the uh, popular execution on the 12 gate is for timings and things like that. A long time ago, I had that memorized. Now I'm like a commentator. I'm like, I don't need to have this memorized. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy what's happening on the map and not think about it too much as a casual observer. A simulator <laughs> warping in. My own little defense of being lazy as far as Protoss timings <laughs> just by casting an immense amount of PvP recently. Probe might be able to sneak out, and so we do see, for a, look, for a second there, it looked like Dreamer might hold back. He does have that assimilator out. He's going to walk out with those three zealots. There's only a single zealot right there. We're going to have a zealot and Dragoon, and there might... Wow! A Citadel of a Dune. This is very risky from Crane. So he's got three zealots. He doesn't even know whether or not there were additional gateways producing zealots at this stage. He's got that probe to kind of watch it. He's only got one zealot. He might need to pull some probes off the line. But here's the thing. He needs to defend this ramp if he's going to execute this properly. Because if these zealots get in the base, the jig is up. Dragoon pressing forward, actually not even getting a shot off. It's somewhat exposed. Yeah, and they're gonna they're gonna come in. They're working on that zealot, getting a nice round. So just, and this is the thing is is like okay, aside from dropping scouting information, Templar Archive is about how, halfway finished, and this is it now. Wow. So Crane is just relying on Dreamer completely. So what I said about Two Gate, I take it all back. Crane getting a little bit greedy in his build order. He saw the Zealots coming, but underproducing units on the front door, and as a result, looks like the Zealot's able to get in. He didn't lose too many probes there, honestly. He's way behind in the probe count, though. He has that Templar Archives. All, yeah, that's all that needed to happen for Dreamer to win this match now. He dropped a Forge. That was gigantic. Wow. Got my wow in for the game. Producing this initial Dark Templar, but I think it is going to be way too little too late. And that was, yeah, I almost feel like that was greedy on Crane's part. If he had, if he produced another Zealot, or if he even pulled a couple, I think, he, like, having a probe or two off the line. The thing is, is, like, usually defending against that, you want to have the opportunity to kind of pull back, pull probes off the line, things like that, and have it be okay. There's that cannon warping, and there are two Dragoons to try to peel off a couple of these units here. But once this cannon warps in, honestly, two gate versus two gate, I think that will be it. Maybe Crane, if he dropped another three gateways... 
and turned around and tried to work it that way. This still might have some potential. Observatory is almost warped in. Dreamer has all of the options in the world, and just in case that cannon wasn't enough, he plopped one in his mineral line. Keep in mind, dropping those two cannons, that's 300 resources, so Crane's going to try to sneak back into this by taking a quick nexus. The, thing, the DT does give him map control. And actually, I think he can cancel this cannon now. I think now that he's held this, go ahead and cancel that cannon to save the resources. Let's see if he opts to do so. No, he's going to go ahead and let it warp in. Range just starting now. Three Dragoons, that Dark Templar, here. The, here's the opposite side of that, is yeah, that Nexus is warping in. He might get that Nexus fairly quickly, but since this is Observer's here as well, Dreamer can just kind of meander out, kill that Dark Templar. I don't think he can escape. I think this is enough Dragoon hits where it's not going to happen. Yeah, it doesn't even get to bait. Wow, nice little bit of micro there on Dreamer to take a half step back. So he didn't even lose any base health. So that Dragoon shield will recharge. Another Dark Templar hiding into the corner. But yeah, now because that second cannon's warped in, I don't think it's going to get anything. Does Dreamer opt for a Nexus after this? I almost... Well, he's going to move out. At the very least, he can get a scout. He's putting that pylon on the front door. Might lose that probe on the front. Second gateway plopping down for Crane. He's only been producing one gate. He has been producing those Dark Templar higher tier units. But he's only got three Dragoons going up against three Dragoons and three Zealots. And those three Zealots will make the difference. He'll have to pull even more probes. He's back eight probes overall. And he's just now saturating his natural expansion. Maybe he'll have the advantage in range. Actually, range is going to come in just uh, pretty equivalently. That's four Dragoons. Dreamer pressing forward actually might have overstepped there because he didn't have his full army and actually isn't reinforcing further with this. I think Crane actually might be able to defend this. Shield battery warping in, so that could be a big difference for this fight as well. And Dreamer pulling Dragoons. Actually, this ramp is sacrificed. Does he want to just walk into the main with this? No, he's going to re-engage. The Zelts working on that forward Dragoon. Two Dragoons down, three Dragoons. Actually, nice micro by Dreamer overall. Probes coming off, trying to do some disruption on those Dragoons on the ramp. Only one Dragoon left. It does have a shield battery. No power left on that shield battery, though, to defend. And three, two Dragoons from the high ground actually providing some additional fence. And I think the probes will be able to fight this, but that was a lot of disruption in continued mining activity. The Dark Templar making its way in, and it is going to die. Does get a probe, but gets absolutely nothing else. Crane's still alive. And if you're still alive in Brood War, you still have an option to win the match. But, but... He, I would still put him, actually, you know what? I'm going to reassess this. We're going to reassess this in three or four minutes. Because Dreamer sent out a piecemeal attack and with this Nexus to follow up, there might be an opportunity to sneak right back into this match, which would be an incredible recovery. Shuttle is being produced. Four gates for Dreamer. So despite all of this interruption, in two, in approximately, you know, a couple minutes here, Crane has matched production overall. He's got just about as many probes. And he has his natural saturated well before Dreamer. Plus he has that shield, shield battery on the front. He's got about close to equivalent ground army. Not insurmountable as far as a reinforcement point. If he plops down, he's getting his own robo. He's behind in, in Robotech. Robotech, the movie. He is going four gates versus just two, which could be the difference, plus weapons one is upgrading. So Dreamer currently has a tech advantage. He's got a slight disadvantage, a very slight disadvantage economically. His supply count is behind overall, but, but Dreamer has recovered pretty nicely, I gotta say, considering he opened a blind Dark Templar archives that immediately got spotted and then countered. Zelt's being produced. Do we see a High Templar in here? Or sorry, he doesn't have... He's not the one with the Templar tech. The, the question is, is, do we see High Templar over here and Psystorm to try to defend this? Robo's up. Some Dragoons nicely spread, but keep in mind that is a generalized funnel. Crane's keeping... I like this. Has a probe out there. Well, never mind. I thought I was inverting that. I thought that was Dreamer's probe for a second. Observer walking in. It's going to see five gateways that are just now coming online. And the Observatory in the back corner. And I think... Shuttle moving in for Dreamer, dropping off four Zealots, and these Dragoons are none the wiser. This is where not having an Observer can hurt. Disrupting more economy. And Crane had just taken the lead, but thing is, is if these Zealots don't get something done, that's 400 resources lost for basically nothing for Dreamer. 
so they got one Dragoon. One Dragoon, it looks like. And didn't get a lot else accomplished. They did disrupt some mining, which is going to slow that economy down. But a ten, again, a 10 supply difference is not insurmountable. So I, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to say Crane, destroying his own shield battery to open up the front, has managed to walk back into this match. He's still behind. But he's not insurmountably behind. Dark Templar being loaded up. This could be the difference here. Observer just now producing. Will there be an Observer in time to deal with this DT? And will that shuttle get spotted? I like the pylon to that bottom right-hand corner to kind of spot it. This could be disastrous. The shuttle path for Dreamer might be intercepted by these Dragoons. And this is a lot of Dragoons pushing towards the front. This is a lot of Zealots, though, to deal with this. Psystorm is not going to be ready. And I don't... Is Leg Speed just finishing? Leg Speed is not just finishing. I don't know that there is a Leg Speed upgrade. One Dragoon. It looks like it was spotted... And it looks like that Observer's been spotted to get taken out. Let's see if this DT gets any kills. More mining disruption on Crane's part. And this is... Dreamer's doing a good job of this to, to really finish out the map this way. He is going to get a handful of probe kills. That shuttle's been taken out. So a few losses there. But this Dark Templar is going to get five kills and disable the main. So continuing to turn at least early game advantages into late game advantages. And also hiding that Dark Templar in the upper corner. Maybe a second Observer waiting... I'm wondering where... Because I think there was an Observer that got killed on the front here, right? I'm not sure where that Observer is now. Can't find it. <laughs> there it is. Walking in to go ahead and take that Dark Templar out. It's actually going to kill another Observer out in the front. So Dark Templar getting wiped out. More mining disruption. Dreamer taking a significant supply lead. He is walking up to go ahead and take his third. Crane is going to be notified by that pylon. As that fact. And actually warping in a couple of these pylons to just kind of deal with... Because he knows he's in a defensive position where he just kind of has to absorb whatever his opponent's doing. So plopping down additional pylons along those corners to kind of spot that. This is seven gateways with an eight one an eighth warping in. Level two weapons is now upgrading. So Dreamer with a supply lead, with an upgrade lead, with a tech lead, because I believe he has Psy Storm. This could be disastrous engagement for Crane, the one that ends the game. Especially if these Psy Storms land. Crane can't fight this. He needs to just run. Oh, good size storm on top of a lot of those Dragoons. There's GG. Yeah, he knew it. He knew it. So I will call this for Dreamer. Uh, or uh, I'm going to call this all the way around. Dreamer did a, a fantastic job closing this match out. Crane, though, I got to say, nice attempt at a recovery. It's just Dreamer really able to just keep, you know, just smack it down. Make sure. It, anyway, not articulating well at the end of this match. That was an enjoyable one. Despite, honestly, the, the cheese that was there. Hope you guys enjoyed it overall. We are going to move. So, Dreamer is up 2-1 over, over Crane. And we are going to move into Game 4 momentarily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.